if the power of God cannot be made manifest in the midst of God's people, that will only remain a wish. It will only remain a desire. But I'm happy to let you know that the power of God is here in the midst of his people. And in the name of Jesus, that power will visit you mightily tonight. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, to activate the power of God, knowing then that the power of God is at the back of every supernatural manifestation, it's important for you to know that the power of God needs to be activated. Just because the power of God is there does not make it functional. Are we together now? Yes. So you can have electricity connected. Your house can be connected to electricity. But to benefit from that electricity, you must understand how to activate, to release the power. You can have your fridge not cold. You can have the television not on. You can have maybe the ACs not on. And yet there's electricity within the house because you do not know how to activate that power. To activate the power of God, I wrote here, you need to know the will of God. This is the first requirement. You will never see the power of God at work in your life, whether to heal, whether to deliver, whether to, to lift, outside of the knowledge of the will of God. You want to see the power of God at work in your life. The first thing you need to know and to understand is the will of God as revealed in his word. This is very important. You want to experience miracles tonight and any other time in your Christian experience, you cannot experience the power of God ignoring the knowledge of the will of God. Because I have taught you that the will of God defines the boundary of the administration of his power. The power of God only functions within the confines of the will of God. Anything the will of God does not allow, anything the will of God does not permit, the power of God has no business sponsoring it. Are we together? This is important. The primary assignment of the power of God as revealed in scripture is to bring everything and all things that are in disalignment to God's will into the will of God. Hallelujah. So to activate the power of God, you need to understand his will as revealed in scripture. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 14. 1 John 5 and 14. And this is the confidence, the Bible says, that we have in him. That if we ask anything, not just according to our desires, not just according to our wishes, not even just according to our pain, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Hallelujah. So the will of God is what defines what kind of prayer God hears and responds to. I have told you that he's touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But his, his movement, his, his, his power, releasing his power in the life of anyone, including the believer, is at the mercy of his will. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 17. Paul again is shedding light and helping us to understand the value of knowing the will of God. The, the previous verses will say, walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. He says, um, uh, he says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. When we get to verse 17, he now says, wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So your wisdom as a believer is the ability to understand and walk in keeping with that which is consistent to and with the will of God. If you understand me, say amen. amen. You want to see the power of God, you must know what the will of God is. And the will of God is captured as revealed in scripture as his promises, exceeding great and precious promises. It's a revelation of the will of God. That means God has committed himself. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace.
donkeys are not of evil to give you an expected end. So God is thinking about me. God is thinking about you. God is thinking about your children, thinking about your career. But it's important for you to know what he's thinking about so that in releasing your faith to receive, you are not praying amiss, wishing amiss, desiring amiss, only to be left disappointed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? Yes. You must know the will of God. For instance, when it has to do with your health, your wholeness and vitality, the Bible is very clear as to the fact that God desires us to walk in wholeness, to walk in perfection of health. When he sent the disciples who would later become apostles in Acts chapter 10 from verse 1, the Bible says he gave them power over unclean spirits, Sorry, Matthew, Matthew 10, Matthew 10, my apologies, Matthew 10 and verse 1. The Bible says he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner, all manner, all manner. So it doesn't matter what name you call it, it still qualifies to be part of this list. All manner, headaches, all manner, blood conditions, all manner, cancers, fibroids, and even the ones that medicine is yet to discover. If you don't know the name, call it all manner. And the demons, the devils must answer to the word of God. All manner, all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Are we together? You know what it means? A disease is not just a jam. Anything that puts you in a condition that affects your default design is a disease. A disease does not have to be sickness, poverty, failure, pain, fear. These are diseases. The Bible says he gave power to heal them. So you may not be sick, but you can be diseased. Hallelujah. To heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good. I like that statement. You don't do good just because you have a kind heart. It takes power to do good. Anything that reveals Jesus is good. Anything that reveals his light is good. Anything that brings people to experience dignity in their lives is good. And the Bible says he went about doing good. Healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Same Matthew chapter 10 when you read from verse 7 and 8. 7 is the message, 8 is the empowerment. As ye go, he says, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Demonstrate that gospel by healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, raising the dead, casting out devils. He said, freely ye have received, freely give. That means if you are in this place and you came with any sickness, any infirmity, make sure you begin to get dissatisfied in your spirit that no matter what it is called, in the name of Jesus, it must leave me. Can I tell you, what you tolerate is permitted to remain. I have taught you that sickness at any level is a measure of death being meted to you because there is a health requirement that your body must have for your spirit to remain. Are we together? Everybody is given the opportunity to have one body per lifetime. One body, not two. One body per lifetime. That means it is your responsibility under God to manage that body to accommodate your spirit all through until your program is done. And your departure, your transition should not be because of the deterioration of your body. It should be that your assignment has finished and then with gallancy and honor you transit. Unfortunately, that is not the case for many people. You have a responsibility to insist. This body is a gift that God gave you. And every time sickness starts deteriorating your body, it means that it is it's a threat to the stay of your spirit. There is a health requirement that if your body does not attain unto at any given point in your life, your spirit will be forced to leave. You call it death. Are we together? 
Hebrews 4, 1 and 2. It says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Verse 2. Let's read together. Ready? One to read. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. Uh -huh. But the word preached did not profit them. Stop. Did you see that now? Just because the truth is preached does not mean it will profit you. You can hear me shout and yell and teach and preach, declare and provoke your faith. But the profiting of it depends on you too. The Bible says the word preached did not profit them. Can you imagine that? Not being mixed with faith. This is what went wrong. It was not the word. It was not the preacher. It was not God, it was not the power of God, but the hearers, the potential recipients did not mix it with faith. It says, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So whilst you are hearing me now, I'm only giving you one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is that number one, you must believe. Hebrews 11, 6, that without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must come believing that he is, he exists, and then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That means whilst you are seated here, you must have it at the back of your mind that when I left my house, are we together? Or when I put on my gadget to connect, God was watching my diligence and he has come, not just as savior, but as a rewarder. The rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You must place a demand by faith. Everywhere you see the miraculous happening in scripture, hallelujah, in the world of the living, you will always see that there was a demand no matter how incapacitated the individuals were, there was a commitment. They had to make a commitment. Jesus looked at the man at Bethesda and told him, rise up, take your mat, walk away. The man at Gates Beautiful, Peter and John, he had to reach to support him, but the man had to make the effort to rise. Listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, the miraculous and the supernatural will be far from any believer who transfers the whole responsibility to God and says, Lord, if you want to visit me, I know you have the power to. That may be a sincere statement, but this is not how it works. You must place a demand by faith. Hallelujah. Place a demand by faith. That as the word of the Lord is coming, as his spirit is moving, as his power already present in the midst of his people is locating you, you must release your, your faith, this sickness. So for instance, if you could not move your leg while the word of God comes and as you are prompted, you take that step and begin to move it. Don't say, I've been holding my crutches for 10 years. What then is the value of the supernatural? Every miracle does not make sense till it happens. It always looks impossible till it becomes possible. If it were possible, it's no longer a miracle. So don't tell me, okay, I, I, I'm, I was deaf in, in one ear. I'm not hearing you. Now. When the word of God comes, you take that step of faith. You place your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. As the word is coming, that deaf ear, it doesn't matter what it is. Listen, the reason why... You are here is because for those who are trusting to be healed, you most likely have a medical report. I hope you know that medical report came as the conclusion of years of experimentation until certain facts were put in place, medically speaking. And I hope you agree with me that medicine is still evolving as much as we appreciate it, meaning there are many dimensions of reality that is beyond, currently beyond the scope of science. If you believe that medical report enough to bring it to church and say, here it is. This is cancer. This is fibroid. This is that I will never see again or some kind of thing. There's some bone condition. My kidneys are packing up. And that is as much as medicine has gone and has advanced. This is a conclusion of many years and decades of diligence in experimentation. And we appreciate that. But there is a more superior route. And this you must believe. Jesus heals. He really does. Sicknesses can leave men. Diseases can leave men. 
infirmities of darkness can leave men. The Bible lets us know that most, if not all, infirmities and sicknesses of all sorts that plague your body, that the continuity, listen, let me tell you the difference between a sickness or a disease that is maybe a natural, of natural cause and that which is demonic. The difference is that anything that is natural, the leaves, huh? he says that the leaves of those trees are for the healings of the nation. That means anything that is of a natural cause, are we together now? There has to be with the level of advancement of medicine, there should be a solution to it. The moment it defies drugs that have been made from the elements of God's creation, it tells you that there is a spirit that has come to partner with that condition. Longevity of troubles of any kind happen when spirits partner with situations. They no longer become normal. So there is poverty as a result of not knowing the laws of wealth, for instance. You see that? That is a natural consequence. But when a spirit partners with that mindset, it becomes the spirit of poverty. So there are two things you have to do to save that person. One, that spirit that is behind that condition has to be taken out of that person's life. Then two, his mind will have to receive a superior orientation. That's what brings total deliverance for that person. Are we together? So you can say, I have headache. When you stretch yourself as medicine teaches us, it's possible that you can have your body just responding in unfavorable ways. But when that becomes a condition that defies medicine and the doctors have done their best, that one now, a spirit has seen a loophole and it has come to lay sway on it. And in the name of Jesus, any spirit that is behind any infirmity and any condition, it must let you go this night. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, spirits do not just attach themselves to bodies. Spirits attach themselves to situations. You need to understand this. James 2.26 For a body without a spirit is dead. Anything that is alive, the trouble that plagues many, you can see that that trouble is alive. There is a spirit that gave it life. Are we together? The power of God is not just limited to healing sick bodies. There are situations that have been empowered to remain because there are spirits behind it. And it will be a waste to just discuss and hope and wish. It takes the manifestation of the power of God for those spirits to depart. You believe me. This is what I've done every day of my life. So many people can have situations now as captured in your prayer request you call it different names, but the truth is that in the realm of the spirit, for most of these situations, there are spirits. The loggerheads between a man and his wife, you may have, there may, there may be certain logical reasons, but behind it, there are spirits empowering the continuity of that pain. Are we together? Depletion, all kinds of negative conditions. This is why I took the time to welcome you to this miracle service because it will be your miracle service in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it again that it will be your miracle service. Jesus, as the son of the living God, without the empowerment and the partnership of the Holy Spirit, could not do much when he walked upon the earth. The madman in Gadara, the Bible lets us know that as a normal man, we would see the later part of his life. An ordinary man, very kind man, well behaved, but not when these violent spirits came. The Bible says he will cut himself. You get a knife or some sharp object and try to lacerate yourself in your sound mind and see how painful it is. So it takes, there are people who hurt themselves. They hurt themselves with unwise decisions. They hurt themselves by moving consciously into zones that pose danger to their lives. They think they are going on their own, but there are spirits that lead men to trouble. The same way the Holy Spirit leads men to favor. Do you not know that there are people, the the moment there is a scheming of trouble, these spirits lead them there. They never wake up in the morning and return in peace. As they leave their house, you know they are coming back with trouble. Trouble with the police, trouble with some kind of thing. You go to the mall and trouble just looks for you there.
Is the Lord provoking someone? So the supernatural and the, and the miraculous will always demand actions of obedience. Always demand actions of obedience. Experiencing the power of God is not difficult when you understand the dynamics of its operation. Whatsoever he tells you to do, he says do. The simplicity of faith has robbed many people from receiving extraordinary mirac miraculous results because sometimes we become too calculative and too scientific or we meditate on the pains and the problems so much that based on the frame of our reasoning we cannot see how a miracle will happen in the midst of that situation how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man and gabriel replies and says the holy ghost the power of the highest shall overshadow you there are many things that you may not need to ask how it will happen leave that to the office of the holy spirit he's a master over chaos and darkness you have been taught tonight don't ask how the ear will open tonight don't ask how the bones will be corrected there are many many things that you only have to be god to really understand there are certain things that are left. It is exclusive to his office. Hallelujah. How someone holding a crutch will throw it away and now begin to walk. How so, a, some miracle will happen to a little baby. How someone who is far in Europe, far in America, far somewhere in Africa, or even this nation, will receive a miracle right in your room while a preacher is speaking here. Leave that one to the Holy Spirit. How a ministry that has been going down, no doors opening with one prophetic declaration and it looks like the gates are open. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. How a prodigal son, a prodigal daughter roaming around the street making a waste of their lives. How they will be impacted by the Spirit of God and return back home to a life of honor and dignity. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. How your boss who has told you he hates you openly will change his mind and be the greatest advocate of your rising. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. How a tenant becomes a landlord before December. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How a student who is not doing well suddenly becomes extraordinarily intelligent. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. I'm showing you that there are many burdens you are carrying that is not your business. The dynamics of the operation of the miraculous is not your business. It's not God will not burden you with that kind of responsibility. The Holy Spirit, leave him to collide with the darkness. Leave him to collide with the sickness. Yours is to say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. What instruction is it that you are giving now? Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways. Oh, yes, Lord. We will obey. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways. Oh, yes, Lord. We will obey. Yes to your will, Lord. Yes to your ways, oh yes, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, when you understand this about the supernatural, it will help your faith. You are interrupting spirituality with science. You are interrupting spirituality with excessive, exaggerated intellectualism. Is the reason why it must make sense before you believe. Unfortunately, that's not how the realm of the spirit works. Is the reason why people who are not, not so enlightened seem to receive the miraculous faster. Because the frame of their reasoning is fragile enough for the Holy Spirit to override. Sometimes intelligence can be a blockade. Is the reason why the scribes and the Pharisees had it. It was, it was difficult for them to believe. But the woman with the issue of blood, not after that pain. She reached out, if I may but touch his garment. That's the end of it. How the power flows. 
I don't need to study what are the five conductors of the anointing. I will study them, but in the midst of my pain now, all I need is for the power to flow. Hallelujah. So many of us have come now and you came here with bills. You are in debt, say for instance, or you are having some kind of court cases. And whilst you are sitting down, the frame of your thinking, okay, God, I know you will do this, but can you at least prove to me? Let a rich man sit down near me. At least that's a first logical sign and God says nonsense. You don't know who you are talking to. You are not talking to a carpenter. You are not talking to a professor. You are talking to the creator of the ends of the earth. Hold on. If you were with God in Genesis chapter 1 and he asks you, suggest how I should create the heavens and the earth, what would be your, your initiative? Intelligently tell me how, the, how you would have advised God to create the heavens and the earth, to make matter from nothing. Hallelujah. If you stood before the Red Sea and God said, come and partner with me, suggest how these people will pass. How long will it take you to build a bridge across the Red Sea? Are we together? If you were in that crusade where there were about 5,000 people aside women and children, hungry and angry. Imagine children tapping their parents, mommy, we are hungry, and saying it close to Jesus. And he said, please help me. What do we do now? How many bakers will you gather together? How many professional chefs will you gather together and say, you know what? Can you cook for 5,000 people within 30 minutes? Not Jesus. He said, you just get me five loaves, two, two fish. There is something I can place on it. Now, that is not, listen, that is not to ignore the ministry of these people. There is a place for process. There is a natural sequence of things. But ladies and gentlemen, I said it is the supernatural. The supernatural is an advantage that God gives a believer. Hallelujah. So how does pain, some swelling somewhere, you are holding your medical report and now they are saying there is no hope. You are going to die. The doctors are sincere, practicing as far as they have been taught. But there is only one name. There is only one name with power to save. Hey. With power to save. a name is how God designed the system a name is a means of identification a name is also a representation of how powerful or otherwise a thing is so when you say professor you are given a name that is a representation of years of laborious study and and a, a pragmatic search along a field are we together? When you say doctor, you mean one who has passed through the medical school. When you say an engineer, when you say an architect, you mean one who has trained his mindset and, and primed his creativity to bring forth innovative designs. When you say Jesus, what do you think? For some of you, Jesus means a weak Galilean that history tells us that he just healed the sick and we're not even sure if he does so. Can you imagine? 
when your loved one is sick and someone just arrives and they say he's a consultant just by the mention of that name it ministers hope it means hope has come it means this guy and they tell you that this guy is one of the foremost professors in Harvard or Yale or John Hopkins Hospital and you are encouraged because you believe that there is a greater level of accuracy and expertise I ask you a question again when you say Jesus what comes to your mind when you say Jesus what comes to your mind for many of you Jesus means that mysterious person whose ways I do not understand and I'm not even sure if he's that powerful in fact for some of us you are more confident hearing Paul than Jesus Peter than Jesus I announce to you that there is only one name that has been vested with all authority and dominion that's why I took this song it's not a special number there is only one name There is only one name With power to save With power to save There is only one name There is only one name Just meditate on what you are singing There is only one name When you hear the name oil and gas you start smiling even if it has no business reaching you when you hear the name real estate you rejoice because that means poverty is on its way out when you hear the name federal government job you say thank you Jesus when you hear the name some country anywhere that you are given a visa you hope that with it you will get a better life but when you hear the name Jesus there usually is no excitement what is there I've seen it read it known it Jesus okay I believe is the son of God but I'm reintroducing to you that name tonight that is the name that has made every great man in the kingdom that is the name that has made ordinary men to be champions that is the name that has made weak people to carry mysterious spiritual power that is the name that has granted influence that cannot be explained but cannot be denied. That is the name that commands authority not only in this earth but even in the world that is to come. Our God is champion. He reigns forevermore. Forevermore. Sing it one more time. Our God is champion. He reigns forever. Forevermore. Forevermore. Listen. There is power. When you believe in Jesus, if he tells you I will lift you, forget who wants to bring you down. It's a total waste of time. Just believe me. When God says I will honor you in your lifetime, I want you to believe him. God is not a man that you should lie, not the son of man that you should repent. Man of God, when God says he's giving you grace that takes you to the nations, believe him. Businessman, when God tells you that your captivity has come to an end, yours is to believe him. The dynamics of the walking is beyond the realm of logic. He is the father of spirit. He knows how to connect A and B, B and C, A to Z for your rising. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, do not give God a template he must use before you believe. That is unbelief. Lord, I want you to lift me. But please, can you use this man to lift me? That is unbelief. The economy of heaven does not work that way. There are about 8 billion actors that God can use. Anyone can be used by God for your rising. Your uncle says no, there must be someone saying yes somewhere. 
The challenge is that our faith is auxiliary faith. It is not absolute faith. You are saying faith, but at the back of your mind, you are hoping that faith is connected to somebody or something. I can tell you instances in my life where God said he would do many things and it did not make sense. I have mastered the art of being faithful in my area of the faith equation while not bothering myself with the area that is none of my business. And it shall come to pass that if you diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to obey, to do and observe all that I command you this day, that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. How they will come is none of my business. All I know is that if I obey him in walking in keeping, you will marvel and wonder at the creativity of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Do you believe me? I'm saying that because I need to put your faith in place so that when we begin to pray, you look beyond the pain. The pain is real. I'm not denying it. It is there. The sickness is there. But can you look on? There were serpents on the ground. But Moses said there are two kinds of serpents you can look at. The one lifted by instruction or the one coming to you. That if you can look at the brazen altar, the brazen serpent, you will leave. There are two names you can look at. The one you are holding as a medical report or the one exalted as Lord and Christ. There are two names you can look at. Unemployment as a name or the provider as Jaira. There are two names you can look at. Untimely death or the resurrection and the life. There are always many names and you are at liberty to turn whatever direction except that where your face turns is where your life turns to. They looked unto him and the Bible says their faces were lightened. Lot's wife was mandated to not look back. But the Bible says while she was going, I don't know what it is about Sodom that caught her attention. She turned and even in the midst of great deliverance, she stood there. Her own was not delay, was not retrogression, was not stagnation. She became salt, a pillar, a monument, a warning that if any man draws back, my soul will find no pleasure in him. And the Bible makes reference to her tragedy. It says, remember Lord's wife. Please hear me. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain if you have said it, then you will do it. You, you have a track record of keeping your word, and you're not. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. You are not the first to need a job. No, you are not the first to be diagnosed with a challenging situation. My Bible says, listen, that the thing that is, is the thing that was, and the thing that is to happen. There is nothing new under the sun. The Bible is full of men who survive what you are going through, that by reading their story to be a consolation to you, are we together? That Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. You are not the first to start having a bone condition, an ear condition, a neck pain. No. Apostle, but men have prayed and prayed for me. Why don't you release your faith tonight and look unto Jesus? Did the Bible not say about the woman with the issue of blood that she spent all her earnings on doctors and physicians? She was not an irresponsible woman. She made efforts before that time to meet people but the solution it was not a permanent solution not until Jesus came not until Jesus came ladies and gentlemen a miracle service is beyond a healing service a healing is a major part of it but God is concerned about every aspect of your life including the housing issue including the finance issue did you hear what I said including that issue that has brought shame and reproach This is God for you. So that when it's time to release your faith, don't stand to be a spectator and say, well, Lord, I know that you will touch me. No, you have to be an active participant 
to walk with the Holy Spirit. Don't waste the time that you, you have spent time to come. Many of you have been here since morning waiting, releasing your faith. Now is the time. Insist and ensure that I will not go back the same. And for those who are connecting online, I've taught you that distance is no barrier. That every spirit that is troubling you must leave. And every condition that is in partnership with any spirit mocking God in your life, it's time to insist it must go. You are a man of God and you have come here because of there are certain deficiencies of results you've seen in your life and your ministry. It's time to obtain grace. Genuine grace that empowers you to go back and produce results. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But my emphasis tonight... I, and, and I began to sense this very strongly as I prayed, is God really, really wants to step in to bring healing miracles. Healing miracles. The, the spread of sicknesses and diseases, mysterious occurrences, eating up people's bodies. You see someone alive and strong standing, but something is dying within him. Heart dying, liver dying, kidney dying, brain dying. What a devil. How does it transport itself from anywhere until it finds itself in your brain? Then it latches there and starts growing. Yet we call them unicellular. What gave them the intelligence to know that that is your brain? That is your heart? That is this and that? Hallelujah. That all the pain you are going, don't wait until you are, they diagnose it and say this is finally this. If it is discomforting you, that devil must leave this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. How about those who have all kinds of dreams, activities of familiar spirits, masquerading as loved ones that you have seen? Help those under the anointing. I'm angry in my spirit, oh, let me tell you. And that, that anger in partnership with the anointing is about to be unleashed in this place. There is a holy anger that is necessary for certain levels of breakthrough. When you love God's people and you see them under oppression, except you are, you are also satanic, you should not be smiling. Hallelujah. There are some of you that all your earnings have finished in drugs or treatments. You see, it's another dimension of the manifestation of the devourer. Because when your health is disturbed, no amount becomes too much to keep your life. And 10 million naira can finish in one month because of a devil masquerading in your body. So it's not only healing you are going to receive, there must be restoration. Do you believe that? Restoration. Restoration restoration now there are those who are not sick in terms of infirmity but they are diseased they lie down and they cannot sleep the trouble that is on you is heavier than the bed you are lying down on and it's as if the bed is on you you wake up tired more tired than you because there's trouble there's school fees your children are abroad you are thinking of taking care of them the ones here all kinds of trouble maybe the rates housing has increased no, a miracle service is a convergence where God brings his people and allows them to collide with his transforming power, with his miracle working power. There is a consolation to the believer's Christian experience that God can arise and he can visit men and with visitations come redemption. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, I announce to you that this is a miracle service where God will raise you from the dust of shame. Finally, in the name of Jesus Christ, raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like Pharaoh did that of Joseph. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. Hallelujah. I hope you know that the garment, shame and despair can be worn like a garment. Is it in your Bible? That a man can wear it the same way I cannot look at someone dressed on suit and say you are wearing traditionals. No. A man can wear the garment of shame and walk with it. Walk with it to your place of work. Walk with it to... And several people who should help you just ignore you. You don't know what they are seeing. They don't know what they are seeing. 
but the results of rejection is clear can I tell you psychologists teach us that rejection is the worst thing that can happen to a man from a psychological standpoint to be rejected means to be given a clear message that you are not needed within a system you are not needed within your workplace that is that is where people try to pretend so that they belong but there's something God can place on your head that when he places it on your head even from the prison the king can send for you and bring you out of any dungeon I hope you believe what I'm telling you listen let me say this one last one last encouragement and then we'll pray always be conscious of the fact that spiritual forces have dominion and exact dominion over the physical men even science has agreed with religion and spirituality that no man walks alone you see a man alone but there are forces we carry is that true a man can walk alone if you met the madman in Gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand you would believe you were shaking one man not knowing you were shaking a legion the same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man you just you will know that you shook hand with speed you shook hand with favor you shook hand with breakthrough you shook hand with elevation it is true graces are trapped in men it is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work this is why I came here Lord I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family my loved ones why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes there is a way out I don't know what the way is but I know there is a way out and then you engage by faith are you ready to pray will take two or three minutes to pray I want you to release your faith sincerely God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power lift your voice in one minute everywhere whether you are outside whether you are inside all the overflows go ahead and begin to pray indeed it is my night God is giving me a story Shalika parakos sopran de kebeleketash Kepra teka barekas koteleketa Manta prakata beleketos katibala sandabash This disease, this infirmity is living finally Someone pray This embargo of shame and reproach Backwardness, retrogression is given way in the name of Jesus Take a minute to release your faith. It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying, engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor, and limited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the Spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray Go ahead and pray. 
my life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on to the storm And I will hold on to your world My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. And then number three, poverty. Do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. There's a song that is in my spirit. Yesu kaine haskena In the kabihan yandansambi In the Caribbean, one more time. The light of the world. When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step per day, one step per moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no ma you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you are unemployed, but there is absolutely nothing to write home about. As I pray for the sick, I'm going to pray for those people. I want you to bring them out because the power of God is coming on those people and on those families. I want to pray. 
as soon as that song was raised that's what the Lord began to minister to me in my heart and then I'll pray for the sick we'll take testimonies now ah there is a light that is coming here tonight in the name of Jesus everyone paros kadibada please bring them out very quickly we have a lot to do tonight i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down goes up only to come down there is no longevity in impact i decree and declare right now be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment be delivered this moment. Be delivered this moment. Be delivered this moment. Be delivered this moment. My goodness, fire is falling in this place. Be delivered this moment. In the Bring them out. In the One more time. I'm still praying in the name of Jesus. Rising and going down by the Spirit of the Living God. Whether it's for you or for your loved ones, I stretch my hands now. That fire, let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever. 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 That spirit forever. Be separated now and separated forever in the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing I'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases there's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head there is healing that God is bringing to you right now everything that is not of God lay your hands I want to pray for the sick now help that man hallelujah lay your hands I want to pray listen as soon as I pray for you miracles are already happening the power of God will touch you right where you are I want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now right now for those as soon as I pray for you a miracle is happening check yourself the moment you find out you are healed make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ the first that I'm seeing in my vision here there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit please play the strings for me in the name of Jesus may the hand of God rest upon you now help them please may the hand of God rest upon you now every demonic headache masquerading as anything recurrent headache I decree and declare be healed now be healed now be healed now any eye condition total blindness partial blindness I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Ghost begin to see now begin to see now there there are people who cannot move their legs I don't know if it's whatever pain in the name of Jesus the power of God is resting upon you begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of Jesus now hear me 
all kinds of pains are about to leave you will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely I stretch my hands pain goes now pain goes now help them please pain goes now pain goes now pain goes now back pain be healed now shoulder pain be healed now neck pain move your neck now be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone being healed of goiter goiter in the name of Jesus may the power of God rest upon you I bring you healing and I bring you life healing and life someone with a heart condition I curse that spirit right now and I release you be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you you are not able to sit down I don't know if it's pile or some boil or just just swelling in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you now you're going to feel the fire of God rest upon you and that devil will leave you now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing someone kidney problem you're having kidney problems if I don't pray for that person I'm seeing that you would die in the name of Jesus whether you are here or connecting from any hospital may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from that kidney condition you could not bend every time you bend there is severe pain in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you let that pain disappear now let that pain disappear now the Lord is showing me someone your toes you have a problem I don't know what problem it is your toes it looks like um, it's getting hard I don't know what the medical condition is but I know that it's affecting your toes the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus there is a lady and a gentleman two of them will shout now under the anointing the Lord is healing someone connected to your family this is in the name of Jesus I know everybody but there are two people the Lord is revealing to me and I decree and declare whoever that person is let a visitation come for you come for your family members in the name of Jesus there's someone there are particular foods you cannot eat when you eat them you start throwing up and you will even be sick God is revealing this to me now I am not a doctor I will not advise you as against medical advice but all I know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a woman's husband this is your husband I'm seeing a, a situation affecting his mobility. He's unable to move. It's beginning to affect his leg. It looks like arthritis in the name that is above all names. Whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online, I declare, who is Rachel? Rachel, come. Your time has come. Oh, oh, oh. your season has come. pray for you the Lord is visiting the family of Rachel and the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft this is what I'm saying I decree and declare be delivered now now by the Spirit of the Living God may the hand of God I stretch my hands every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel be delivered now 
be delivered now. What he says to one, he says to all, be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with a name Livinus? I'm hearing a name Livinus. Is it Lavinus or Livinus? Somebody, Livinus. The Lord is bringing deliverance to that family. Livinus or Lavinus, whether you are here or following online, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing someone in this row. I just saw light. Someone in this row. The hand of God is coming on that person right now. There are two men of God. I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry and another one being open. The fire of God is coming on you now. Two men of God. I don't know where you are, whether you are here or scattered around. Father, I pray that you locate this man and open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. In the name of Jesus, open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, multiplied visions. This is what I'm hearing. Multiplied visions. There are men that are coming into this realm where God is opening your eyes. Multiplied visions. Receive that grace right now. Multiplied visions. Accuracy in your perception. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is there someone here with the name Godia? I'm hearing the name Godia. That should be maybe most likely someone from the north. Godia, please we have a lot to do. Make sure that Godia, if, if they are outside of this place, no problem. Let me just know. I want to speak. I heard that name Godia in the name of Jesus. Every manifestation of sp the spirit of death. Is there someone with the name AGK? AGK. I believe that, that most likely is an Igbo name. AGK, who is that? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. A season of reward. AGK, who is AGK? Okay, you, sir. You are entering your season of reward. You are entering your season of reward. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, may my God visit you. May my God visit you. I'm still seeing another AGK that the Lord is revealing to me. AGK. That's the, is that his name? Verified. Is that your name, my friend? Huh? What's your name? What do you do? I'm a civil engineer. You're a civil engineer? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. There is somebody who does furnitures. I see the hand of God coming on you. You are about to explode. There is a supernatural grace that is coming on your business. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who do you do furnitures? Furnitures. Yes, sir. You make it or you sell it. I make furniture. You make furniture. Yes, Lift sir. your hands. Yes, sir. Something is about to shift in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be a supernatural manifestation of grace. A supernatural manifestation of grace. The Lord is showing me someone. You are a lawyer, but you have never been employed. This is what I'm seeing. There is a spirit of shame. It's not just you, your family members. The Lord wants to change that. Who is that person? Don't tell lies. Make sure that you are, you are a child of God. You? Is she a lawyer? Practicing lawyer? Yes, sir. I'm in private practice. You've never, never been, employed. been employed? Yes, sir. How long have you been practicing? 15 years. Yeah, yes, you can ask Madam, are you a lawyer? Hold on, hold the woman. Take it easy, madam. For 16 years, I'm for how many years? For 16 years, I've not been employed. It's okay. It's 
Don't worry. You are in the house of God. Just believe. I don't know you, madam. You, how many years? Brother, 20 years. Where are you from? I'm from Benue. Because Brother. there is a spirit. I need to pray for you. This thing has tied everybody in your family. And it kills the men in your family. I want to pray for you. You see, evil is real. Oh. I'm praying for someone here. In the, everything that is masquerading itself around your family. As I'm praying for these ones. May that grace rest upon you now. All of you in front here. Right now, be delivered now. I release you now. Every plague of witchcraft over your life, let it be broken now. Over your career, let it be broken now. 20 years. Look at this woman. No nothing. Now, you, you watch in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, these same people will return back here and they will tell you doors have just opened just like that. That is what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. Hmm. Check your neck. There's someone, I don't know what was wrong with your neck, but I want you to check it now. A miracle has happened. I will soon ask those who, are, who have been healed to come out, but something just happened in my spirit. Mildred. I'm hearing a name, Mildred. Mildred. Who is Mildred? Mildred. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is. Mildred. Now, the Lord is showing me a very unique case to pray for a family. When people marry in that family, they must die. This is what I'm saying. When they marry, one of the spouse must die within the shortest time. It doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman. There is someone who belongs to that family. Where are you? Come. One of these families is a Southern Kaduna family. Yes. I want, yes. Where are you from? Yes. I'm from Southern Kaduna. Sir. Southern Kaduna. Yes, sir. Stand here. I want to pray for you. Southern Kaduna, I'm seeing this family. There is witchcraft that sits on the destinies of people. And if one person ever rises, that person must die. Something must kill that person. And so you find out that all the great people, people who would have risen, is like something just brings them down. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. My assignment is to bring light and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. Parako sete balekosiata. Shalebarandu zigebesh kopra haskabalakatosia. Father, right from the foundation of this family, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Hallelujah. Now, I don't want you to come out. I will just mention the case because the Lord revealed it to me and I will pray for you. There is a family, the ladies in those families, there is a spirit of prostitution on that family. Almost all of them don't come out just for social reasons so you are not embarrassed. But I want to pray because I'm seeing five ladies and every one of them is practicing one kind of prostitution or the other. It's like the spirit insists that is the only way that you must eat. Either some man somewhere or something somewhere and they are sincere people but it's a spirit. This thing I'm seeing by revelation that it started right from their mother. I don't know where that family is represented, but I cry unto the God of heaven, the one who shows men mercy. That yoke that they may not even understand that is responsible for this level of decadence in their family. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. There is a plague of sickness in your family. You are twins. You are twins. 
you are twins you are twins this is what the Lord is asking me the, the Lord is asking me to pray and break that yoke you are twins where are you come you are a twin sir from where sir from where southern Kaduna Zangu and Katav I want to pray for you the other twin is the twin here no he said but I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something relating to your blood I have to pray uh, this is like a blood condition yeah. that twin so did you hear what I said are you a twin yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> where are you from from Abia State <laughs> I need to pray for you. Leave her now. I command that spirit to go. As soon as this lady came, I just saw serpents like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this lady be delivered forever. Forever. I'm seeing the name of a family and I'm seeing the ground being opened and the names put in and covered. I don't know who did this, but this is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, any family here whose destiny has been trapped listen oh i'm praying whether you know it or not right now fire is going to come upon that person be delivered now be delivered now let the grave release your destiny let the grave release your destiny let the grave release your destiny let the grave release your destiny, release your destiny. in the name of jesus christ Father, you reveal to me that there are twins. What do you do, sir? Please don't be embarrassed. Yes. I'm a medical practitioner. You're a medical practitioner. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Father, I pray for these people here. Lord, you reveal to redeem. Please make sure you, the ones coming out, why are you coming out? Twins? Huh? He has blood condition. They are twins. He has the Your blood children? condition. Your children? Yes, sir. One who? Two of them. Two of them. This one has blood the blood condition. Con what was the condition? Bleeding disorder. It's called hemophilia. Bleeding disorder. He lost a finger because of it. He lost one finger. Yes. How old is he? He will five next oh month. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. Please believe. When God visits people, is for redemption. I stretch my hands right now. You have anointed also God to be extensions of your power. Therefore, I decree and declare that everything that is happening to any twin here represented, right from the foundation till this day, I decree right now. I'm seeing fire resting on you people. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Let that fire rest upon you. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, even for the kids, I decree and declare, let this blood condition come to an end now. Let this condition come to an end now. Hallelujah. You are the only person alive in your family, among your siblings. They are all dead. Who is that person? The Lord just showed me a vision. I need to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed when God... I hope I'm not wasting your time. Where is the person? Please rush... The only person alive, where are you from? Are you from Anambra State? Where are you from? Huh? Anambra State. All your siblings have Nine, eight of them died. Eight of them have died. Yes, you are the only one. Yes, you see, but listen, ladies and gentlemen. Until God trusts you with power and the grace to see, you may never know what people go through. How many of you were born? Nine of us. And how, you are the only one left. Eight have died. How many of you? Four. And all of them are gone. Only you. Let me pray for you. I believe in Jesus. And I act as he reveals to me. How do you have nine people and eight people would die? How can that be the will of God? 
I hope as I'm praying for them, you are connecting too. Because that is the purpose of faith. Are we together? Lord Jesus, we stretch our hands as a family of faith. Ah! One of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. I just saw a vision and the Lord is telling me that if, if you were not prayed for, this would have been the same case with you before the end of the year because this is a spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want, I want to pray for you. You see, the truth is that curses are real. The power of God can set men free, but curses are real. Hallelujah. I just heard it's like two people were quarreling. And this is what I just heard in my spirit. Didn't see a vision, but I heard. And all I heard is it will not be well with you. This is what I heard. This is like a conversation between two women. And somebody is standing and saying it will not be well with you. This was said to a family. Come and stand here. There is a family that somebody told you that. Who told you that? She's a colleague. No. This, anyway, I'll pray for you. But this is not what I'm talking about. But you don't have to be... On, you see, number one is fear God. Number two, treat people with respect. There are, there's what we call self-inflicted causes. And it comes because people get angry and... Madam, where are you coming from? You're an international visitor? Yes. From? California. From? California. California. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you too, my dear. The scourging tongues of men is what Job said will be delivered from. Let me pray for these, our dear ones, going through this demonic thing about death. In the name of Jesus, for every arrow of death that has been deposited in these lives and these families, no matter how many of them have gone, for your sake, in the name of Jesus, may God restore the name and the dignity of this family. May God use you to restore the name and the dignity of these families in the name of Jesus Christ and every legal access that the spirit of death has over you and over this family we declare let the blood speak now let the blood speak now let the blood speak now in the name of Jesus let the blood speak now and for anyone who is a victim of the ill speakings of men, that someone stood and opened their mouth, whether it's a curse causeless or a curse with a cause, I declare, let the blood speak for you now. 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 There's someone you've been having pains at your right side or so I'm not a doctor but I'm hearing appendicitis I need to pray for you in I believe that's most times it's a surgical procedure that manages that that situation we have a number of doctors here in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray once we pray you can you can we'll, we'll give a few minutes for the testimonies before I've not done the deliverance session proper or I'm about to do it now no it's no devil will escape the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ My dear, where are you from? This fair lady looking at me. States. Don't be embarrassed there, eh? but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? Yes. That people just, people hate you, yes. people reject you, yes. people fight you, yes. and they give meaning to you, something that is not yes. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly, in the name of Jesus, that veil, that is making men to treat you as the person you are not by the power that raised Christ from the dead I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now what's that restore song? sing it for me restore everything that was lost restore everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore you will restore 
there is a man I will not advise that you come out but I'm seeing the number 59 million you lost 59 million I don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why I raised that song for you because the Lord is saying he wants to restore you I'm, I'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost any one naira I don't care for no matter how long by the power that re if you believe in the prophetic then I'm speaking to you between now and the next three months in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let there be supernatural restoration let there be supernatural restoration you will be surprised to see what God will do don't doubt I declare restoration first for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition may my God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you can return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith so that what is happening to you, you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them. It is as for me and my house, me and my house. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easterners be delivered, Westerners be delivered, Middle Belters be delivered, Northerners be delivered. Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny, we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you the Lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of God is coming upon such people. I'm seeing the number 11 in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whether within this auditorium, the balcony, anywhere across, in the name of Jesus, let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Let that chain be broken now. Hallelujah. Gift. Who is gift? I just had the name gift g-i-f-t gift your name is gift gift 
there is a door that is closed and I'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the Lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what I'm hearing father honor your word right now I stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of Jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of Jesus may the God of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the Lord is telling me that I should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number three I don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted instead of you in Jesus name someone is by the pillar I'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone we are one of them the hand of God is upon you may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in a vision the name UN and the Lord is saying someone is going to get a job. UN, United Nations now. You will come and testify here. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus. God who revealed it, may he put it in your hands. I say it again, God who revealed it. I'm seeing UN, the logo of UN, United Nations. May God, no matter where you are, may God use people to connect you to it. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me, this lady. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of Jesus you are delivered now you are delivered forever in Jesus name 13 years no promotion 1 3 13 years you've not been promoted the Lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the Lord is saying I should speak to you I want to speak to you by the Spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the Spirit when a word is released are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted I want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this the lady this is not the person I'm seeing but I will still pray for you in the name of Jesus 13 years no promotion father honor your word for this individual using this one in front as a point of contact I decree and declare that not only will you be promoted may God restore you may God restore you may God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ may God restore you I'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of Jesus one of your loved ones has tuberculosis and the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out I'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of Jesus anyone here on ground 
or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis I declare be healed now yeah. now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith I want to pray here's what will happen as soon as I pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of God has touched I will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is I don't have to call it I want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then I will share with you something and then begin to pray over um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but I want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately I'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now Amen. the Lord is bringing restoration now Amen. now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith I decree and I declare now let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in Jesus name I command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of Jesus as I pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah I don't know I'm not a medical doctor I don't know if there is a relationship between hepatitis and yellow eyes I just saw a vision I saw somebody whose eyes is yellow and I'm seeing hepatitis in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is right now the healing power of Jesus is touching you the healing power of Jesus is touching you in the name of Jesus there is someone you have something called um, a urinary infection you can go it embarrasses you sometimes if you don't rush to the bathroom you can ease yourself even before you get to the bathroom this is I don't I, I believe that this is some medical condition wherever you are in the name of Jesus now I am praying for you let that demonic sickness that has brought you embarrassment let it leave you now in the name of Jesus there's someone when you go to ease yourself you are also stooling blood it looks like pile in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil of pile be free from it this moment be free from it this moment hallelujah someone you are having problem with your teeth one by one they are being pulled out it looks like they are weakening this is what the Lord is showing me it's like the entire your entire um, you know your teeth is is fragile and they've pulled out some but this is something like a cavity problem that is affecting you completely in the name of Jesus wherever you are I decree and declare the power of God is touching you this moment be healed in Jesus name 
there's someone you have your the right part of your breast there's some growth you you started sensing that there's some lump or so growing i'm praying for you in jesus name this moment as i speak that satanic lump disappears from your body <laughs> hallelujah that's what we call muzzle pull so you have around your limb area here just a discomfort that affects you it happened to a gentleman and from that day you have not recovered you are able to walk but not without pain especially on your right side in the name of jesus the holy spirit is bringing you life and healing right now you were sleeping and you felt like they drew your hair it's like somebody pulled your hair and from that time you started losing your hair in jesus name I'm praying for you. The person I'm seeing is like you are wearing something like pink, like baby pink. This is what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, be healed this moment. Let the power of God rest upon you now. And then for some of you, you have sicknesses that has not been diagnosed medically, but you know you are not all right. You just know you can go, they check through the machines and you are fine as much as the doctors tell you, but you know that it's like you are dying slowly. Wherever you are, in the name that is above all names, I'm declaring to you right now, be healed. Supernatural healing in Jesus' name. You slept on one side of the bed and you woke up with pain, severe pain around your neck, just right here. And from that time, you have done all you know to do and that pain remains. As I'm praying for you right now, that satanic thing is giving way. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, let me have your attention. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Inside, outside, be healed now. I'm going to ask you to check yourself and as many of you, some of you whilst you were under the anointing, some of you now as I've spoken, check yourself. You find out that a miracle has happened, whether online or offline. We want to take a few testimonies very quickly. Don't sit back when there is a testimony. There are people already coming. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, a miracle has happened to you. As we sing that song about light, leave your seat and come right to the front. Let's celebrate them as they come. Leave your seat. Check yourself right now. Come, let's celebrate them as they come. Ya Yesu kaine haskena In the kabi hanyan nan zambi Check yourself Ya Yesu kaine haskena In the kabi You can come to my left or to my right Any one of them Haskena are you celebrating in the Kabi? One more time. Yeah, it's the way. It's the way. It's the way. In the Kabi. In the Kabi. If you are yet to write your prayer request, you would notice that ushers and officials are moving around. You, all you need to do is just bring out your request, pass it to the person, whoever by my left or right, my God. There are so many people coming. The power of God has touched so many. Are you celebrating miracles here? Let me know when we're ready so we take a few testimonies very quickly. We take testimonies like this, number one, to demonstrate the dominion power of light over darkness. Are we together? And then the Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That means every time Jesus is revealed, that scenery can reproduce itself again in the lives of those with faith. If here is clam, please come here. You can come either to my left or my right. Either ways, you have a chance to testify. Yes, Pastor Jakes, go ahead. Please come this way. Very quickly, please listen for the testimonies and let's give Jesus 
a round of applause. Go ahead. So, sir, you gave a word of knowledge yes, regarding sir. somebody with appendix. Please appendix. help us with the mic, sound people. Go Pre ahead. Praise Straight the to the point. Okay, I was hospitalized a few weeks ago, discharged just two Tuesdays ago. I was diagnosed of appendicitis, and I came here feeling very severe pains on my lower abdomen. Yes. And the moment you mentioned it, the pain ceased automatically. It's gone completely. Yes. In the name now, of he Jesus. He has a picture. He has oh, a picture you have the picture. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I can see. That is a picture of you in the hospital. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that the Lord God of heaven is showing you mercy Amen. and this healing remains permanent Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Yes, very quickly. That's a photo of him in the hospital. Very quickly, next person. I used to have a waist pain and a breathing problem. But waist I, pain and breathing problem. But, but now I can right now, I'm healed. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out and check yourself. Any pain at all is gone. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. Never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, please, very quickly. Good evening, church. Sharp pain at the back and my shoulders just disappeared. Right now. Yes, sir. Check yourself. The pain is gone. Yes, it will never return to you again Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, please. Good evening, sir. My name is Grace. I've been suffering with this headache for several years ago, and I even brought it to the church. Yes. But as Apostle was praying, I had this gone. Completely. Completely. The headache is gone. Yes. Lay your hands on your head. Come back. In Jesus' name, I declare it will never return to you again. You are delivered now and forever, yes. I'm Joseph by name. I've been having this migraine headache over a month now. Yes. Even when I came here this morning, I was feeling it. When we were praying outside, I was feeling it. But when you were declaring, the thing just sit down of the story. I'm just not went like it. that. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It will never return to you again in Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Tokwe. Yes, I was having this pains, very severe pain in my left ear. Yes. So as we were praying, I laid my hands there. And, and the, pain the pain is gone. gone. Yes, sir. Yes. Gone. Let's hear my master's testimony and then I'll switch to the other side. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I wake up in one night like this. It's just like it he be like say somebody throw something for my neck, and this is almost three weeks. I'm feeling pain, so serious, and I have a high BP. Before coming here, it be like say I will not uh, can be able to reach here, but now I'm fair, I'm healthy. Completely. And my, my, my leg stroke coming down. heavy like say stone, but I just walk now. I walk. walk. Now. Walk, any pain. Celebrate, Mama. Any pain. Is there any pain? No, sir. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected forever. Are you ready? Go ahead. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those that are having neck pain. She got involved in an accident 10 years ago, and then she has not been able to turn her neck. But now, you got involved in an accident? Yes, 10 years ago. For me to look back, I have to turn my whole body. Look back now, turn. Look at this, an accident 10 years ago. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are healed now and healed forever. God bless you. Yes, please. Pain Very in quickly. the neck, gone. Pain in the neck. Pain in the neck. Yes, for about three weeks now, I just noticed that this pain was developing. Initially, I thought it was a sore throat. Yes. But I didn't take it seriously. But it keeps moving into different parts of my neck. And it now sits on the left hand side here. And it's, and so it's I, gone. I, I came to that when you said something about goiter. And there's a man here. Goiter, I said, because if I swallow and I apply pressure, I feel the pain. I have been applying pressure, screaming. And right now. And it's gone. Completely gone. Gone completely. Completely. Celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. Very quickly. Lumbar scoliosis. Come she again. Lumbar scoliosis. Lumbar scoliosis. Yes, sir. Verified. She couldn't bend down. Let she her speak. <laughs> Very quickly. Don't cry. Just go straight to the point. <laughs> Serious pain. How long, my dear? <laughs> like since last year. I can't stand for long, sit for long. I can't do normal things that people do over uh, a long right time. Now. God, you. Check yourself. She could bend down. Bend down. Any pain. Any pain. Look at this. For those of you, for those of you who have had loved ones go through that, that lumbar thing is very, very painful. Very, very, very painful. 
in Jesus' name, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Toothache for a very long time. The pain is gone and disappeared now. Toothache, in the name of Jesus, my dear, it never returns. Vitality and health is your portion Amen. in Jesus' name. God bless you. Very quickly. He was diagnosed of low iron in his blood. No iron. Low iron. Low, low iron. Low iron. Okay, what does that mean? Movement in my body 24 hours and I cannot wear shoes for a long time. You can't stand for a long time? Long time wearing shoes. I feel like things moving back in my body. Now it's gone. Completely gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus, restoration, perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Let me hear the reverend. I see someone, a man on caller. Let me hear what happened to him. Yeah. For some times now, I've been feeling some kind of pain, like... Pain. Time, yes, I want okay. to even want to remove my shirt. I will feel the pain. But now, as soon as you pray, it's gone. Then, on this right side of my body, yes, the same thing also affects my own wife as well. But I pray that as I've received my healing here, my wife has also received her healing. In the name well. of Jesus, we agree with you that this is extended to your dear wife in Jesus' name. Congratulations. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, while they are sorting that, yes, please. All right, so Apostle, indeed, distance is not a barrier because she placed a call from here for her mom's case. Okay, my mom has been having this pain on her leg. We were thinking it's arthritis, so we went to the hospital to confirm. Yes. They said it's not arthritis. She has even taken all kinds of medication. They had to travel to get drugs for her. So while you um, mentioned her case, I had to call her. After calling her, I told her to walk around. I told her to stand. Normally, she cannot stand for a long time. Yes. So even up to now, she's, she has been standing, and the pain is no longer there. Where is, she, where is she now? She's at home. Where is home? Um, Ekubwa. Okay, here in Abuja. Yes, sir. Let's celebrate her mother. <laughs> Phenomenal miracle. In the name of Jesus, if she can hear us, we decree and declare perfection for her Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate this testimony. Before now, uh, when we came, I was feeling that pain on my legs, my yes. two legs. So, but now it has gone. Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands and I declare perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Next person, very quickly. I was confirmed hepatitis B and ulcer. As you have you hepatitis? Hepatitis, yes. Sir. And ulcer? Yes. As and what you happened were now? praying, something just left my body. That devil just left. In the name of Jesus Christ, your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. living God. My testimony is that since the 2012, this is a severe headache come. The whole hospital in this Abuja. No we are they didn't carry me go. This is a nose, a block, they said they will do operation in this federal hospital at uh, your nose. This, my nose, this is one. Yes. A block. I know they breathe in the night. I will find it difficult. My mouth and I need my breath. My two knows. Are you getting what Mama is saying? But I thank God today. Even yesterday, my daughter called me and said, Mommy, they are doing something in the field, the hospital. Ajay, come there, the, the doctor will see you. I go there. They didn't give, they just give me. What happened now, Paracetamol with uh, this uh, vitamin C. Which can happen now? Now, see my nose. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> She can use it now. I'm very, very wonderful. It's wonderful to me. Oh. Wonderful to me. Oh, because Listen. I say, God, I say, yesterday. God, now you go. As he keep me since the 2012 up to today. You must surely remove this thing. Where there for this headache. There's no need Where for there surgery again. The nostril is open. Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Yes, praise God. Um, this morning, I started feeling um, respiratory challenges. I used to be asthmatic, and seven years ago, God healed me. But when I came, it got worse. The hall I was in, I had to leave to go outside so I could breathe well. You're and asthmatic? I used to be. Okay. I was healed. But today, I started feeling challenges uh -huh. breathing. So as the prayers went on, and after the prayers, I realized that I could breathe well. You could breathe I well. I just came to thank God. It will God. never return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. God bless you. Sir, instant testimony. Please. Praise the Lord. 
Uh, I lost my job back in June this year, and I've been applying. I will go for interview, everything will go well, but at the end, they will say they will get back to me and nothing will happen. But tonight, after the prayers, I just received a call that I should resume tomorrow. Praise the Lord! <laughs> Can you imagine that? Where? Oh, you got an email I just there. received the call right now. Oh, that like you should right resume now. tomorrow. See the call. 902. This is 9010. Hallelujah. destiny helper the meaning of this is that anybody who must arise by God to help you wherever they are in the name of Jesus the same God that brought this miracle for this gentleman may he com compel them by the spirit to reach you for your rising to reach you for your lifting in the name of Jesus amen and amen yes go ahead Pain by the right side of his hip for the past 15 years. 15 years. Yes. You declare and then the right now are gone. Gone completely. Instead of them, this is three In months. the name this of Jesus, I stretch challenge. my hands on all of you and I decree and declare this pain around the hip side is gone never to return again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned a word of knowledge of a man called Levi Levinus. Yes. Her father's name is Levinus. So immediately you mentioned that word of knowledge. She fell under the anointing. And then when she came, she stood up. She felt like something was removed in her hand and her leg. And all the pain in her body gone. The pain is gone. That demonic curse over the family is gone. Never to return again in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very she quickly. She couldn't see clearly. So when you mentioned partial blindness, eye defect. She couldn't see. With which of the eye? The, the left eye. How long? It's there about four years now. And I it, live in the UK. I just came because of this program. So when we sat down there about four hours to this time, something fell into my eyes because that's what they normally do with the affliction. They send it like something rush into my eyes. Yes. So when I stand up, when you start praying, declaring that eyes and all that, my eyes were open. It couldn't close on its own. Until I said that I was, those ladies there were helping me to stand up. So the eye now come down so I can see very far now. Hallelujah. Look at this. Every satanic manipulation over your eyes and your life is declared over forever in jesus name let's celebrate her god bless you okay pastor jake's ready for you okay. yes please so, sorry sir i just got an interesting testimony please. so praise okay. the lord my dad a retired police officer that could not bend i just called him i said just connect and then i just called he said i'm jumping where is he? Hey, in Kaduna, and my mom cannot walk around the house. She just sit in one place. I just call her. She said, I'm walking around now. Look at this. The power of God visiting families They're in Kaduna. Yes. You call them to verify. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare. The Lord is touching families. May your family not be exempted. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. God bless you. Yes, please. So, sir, these two cases, um, they both have... They were having aches in their teeth and they were healed yours two years and his own five years. Aches. Yes. In the name of Jesus, gentlemen, I declare that you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Perfection over your teeth and every part of your body in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Let's celebrate miracles. God is doing great things. Praise God. Um, my name is Michael. I came all the way from Jos. Um, I, from, for the past two weeks now, I slept and woke up with my hand. The, the hand was like on fire. Like I could not use it to do anything. When Papa was praying and he said, there's a person that slept and woke up while he sat in the neck, but I, I, I was in my hand. So as he, I keyed into it. By the grace of God, now my hand is free. I could do anything I could do. In the Before name I of Jesus, you will never, you're a healthy person. God bless you. 
The Lord increase you. Congratulations in Jesus' name. Praise God. My name is Uchenna. October 19th will be nine years I broke my leg when I went to play ball. And before now, I've been having this heat around my leg, close to my ankle. So it's, it, was, it was on before I came to this program. But immediately after the prayers, I have this cold sensation around the leg. And, and I had to run up, yes. Run. I had to run up. Broken, nine years. Look at this. It will never return. You are perfected now, perfected forever. My goodness, let's see what we're able to do. We still need to pray. There's still someone's destiny I need to speak to. Okay, yes, go ahead. Good evening, church. I and my mom have been suffering from like eye problems. Eye problem. Yes. Okay. I like, literally told my mom that my eyes were paining me yesterday. I misplaced my glasses at the beginning of this month. So while um, you were praying, I literally placed my eyes on my hand on my eye and literally I feel like I can see anything. Like, Completely. I feel like I can see. As you have received that miracle, we extend the same to your mom wherever Amen. she is. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Son of the Living God. Amen. Amen. So Congratulations. She has her glasses here. You have your glasses. Been yes. You've it's, been healed. Yes, for since when I was primary school, I was I couldn't see well. So when I went to the hospital, they said the problem is genetic. My uncle, my uncles, my dad, my mom, everybody. But for the first time after you prayed, I realized that I could look at the light because I can before I couldn't look at the light without being teary. I've been looking for at the light for more than 20 minutes and I'm not teary. Hello, thy kingdom come. Thy will be Place your hand on your eyes. I declare perfection, my dear. In the name of Jesus, this healing remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and amen. Congratulations. Amen. Um, let's see how we can have maybe two or three. Um, when we're not able to take more, don't feel bad, especially for those of you who have taken the time to come. There's always room to testify on Sunday. We're ever open to hear what God um, has done and is doing. Let's see if we can take a few so that we can just redeem the time. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of a lady on pink that her hair was pulled in the dream. Yes. Now she has a picture here. She always loses she her hair. She has a picture. I see. Look at this. That's her hair. That's your hair. Wow. What happened now? Immediately you gave the word of knowledge, she fell under the anointing and then the headache is gone. Completely. Look at this satanic thing. You know, the Bible says that even the lawful captives, the lawful captives, you see, when you see satanic things like this, it's not about the hair. It will translate into some tragedy in her life. Therefore, my dear, I decree and declare God who has brought you redemption, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is a there will be a physical restoration of your hair. Amen. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Let's let's celebrate the Lord. Apostle, this woman was diagnosed of cervical cancer. Cervical cancer. Yes. So who is she, that? She, here is she. So she couldn't sit for a very long time, but she has been in the service for five hours now, no pain, and then she bleeds a lot. Yes. But now the and bleed, right now. How long, madam? One year, nine months now. Cervical cancer? Yes, Medically sir. verified? Yes, sir. And right now, how do you feel? Um, I'm feeling better because I change more than 20 times a day. But since I get to the church, it's only two times I change. In and I didn't see blood. It's a pulse that's coming out. Place your hand on your stomach. That devil of cancer, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will never return again from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be perfected right now in Jesus name let's celebrate Jesus for this great miracle cervical cancer hallelujah this is group healing pains and the neck pain, pains of all pains. sorts all I of want them to healed. hear the testimony of that woman who came with a little girl I don't know what it is I'm seeing a little girl standing with her mom praise the Lord straight to the point she, madam. she was telling me that she had headache her stomach because she was lying on me as we are, we are upstairs. Yes. So I, when you mention headache, I asked her to place her hand. She stood up and placed her hand on her head. She told me that the headache has gone. And has so My dear, the headache is gone. 
What's your name? My name is Faith. Oli J. How old are you? I'm nine years old. Do you love Jesus? Yes. May God use you mightily. In the name of Jesus, the headache is perfected and may the Lord visit your family for your sake. In Jesus' name, let's celebrate her. Yes. She fell some days ago and then she had had pain. In fact, she had, there's a picture here of a swollen face that she came with, but the swollen face has gone down. She came, yes. Yes, I uh, fall my face down to the bathtub, the corner bathtub on my hotel on Monday. And then I had a cut here. My eyes was completely swollen on my face. For three days, I was in the bed. But since Wednesday, my neck was not able to, I could not sit anymore. Yes. So uh, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, I complained to the hotel. They keep giving me injection. But as soon as I stand up, I can, it's like my head does want to mm. fall. So yesterday, I was so bad, they took me to the clinic to do the scan for my brain. So I'm waiting for the result tomorrow. But today, I say, no matter what, I need to come for the prayer. Even when I came, the young lady who appeared, because I'm a, I'm a visitor, yes. she was telling me, Madam, you have to come. I said, I cannot come. I'm so much in pain. I need to sit. And as soon as you are talking about the pain on the neck, my neck, my pain is completely gone. Look at this. Completely gone. Completely gone. And I... In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare perfection in the name of Jesus. Supernatural correction of that neck. You are perfected forever. Look at her condition. This was a few days ago. And look what Jesus just did now. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfected by the Spirit of the living God. Congratulations, madam. God bless you. Yes. Can we have one or two more? Go ahead. So I've had a recurring pain from my neck all the way down to my lower back. Yes. Um, when I try to get it massaged, it, nobody can just reach where the pain is coming from. And just this evening, you were talking about a sharp thing going from your neck all the way down to your lower back. I felt a surge of like sensation just running down multiple times. And you're free times. now. <laughs> Bend. Done. Bend. Do what you couldn't do. Any pain? Any pain? None. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's celebrate her supernatural perfection for you. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Yes. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for delivering me from neck pain. This evening, I stepped feeling pain. I could not turn anywhere, but I immediately that daddy prayed. The pain is gone. And here, I could... It was painful and my back, I could, I had to sit down for a while. Then my mom told me to stand up and when he prayed, all the pains are gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Let's take two or three here, sir. Okay. So I've been having um, severe Sir, for the past, since you were 13. Yes. Since I was 13, I've been having a migraine. Migraine? And, yes. Since 13? Uh, reoccurring migraine. Okay. And then earlier this year, it became so severe that I'll be having this horror of foggy eyes. I'll be feeling nauseated. I can't stay anywhere that there's light and right sound. now, And right now, it's gone. Completely gone. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting testimony here. Yes, sir. He was, he actually, in a dream, he, something pricked him in the neck. In a dream? Yeah. It's like a stone. Somebody yep. threw some sort of stone on my neck. Yes, sir. I felt it. And ever since for three and a half months now, I've been having severe neck pain. Pain. And right and now? I mean, yeah. I can move my neck. Completely. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration. Okay, so please you guys come. Just come. Now. Quickly. Okay. So this is a group. Then, Sami, so with your permission, we may take one or two testimonies online. Okay, please go ahead. Okay, for some days now, I've been having pains from my neck to my back, and I had to struggle to come to service today. Wow. I told myself I was going to be in service. There was no, there was nothing that was going to keep me. Mm. While you were praying, sir, I felt that pain, that sharp pain. Yes. It came through my back. I was trying to uh, exercise faith, and while I came from upstairs there, Everything went everything. completely. Completely. I In cannot. the name of Jesus, you will never return again. Let's take one or two online. Let's take one or two online. Can we take one or two online? Straight to the point. Daddy, this is from our people online. Yes. One person says, healing from goiter pain just suddenly disappeared. Let's My celebrate God. our online family. Yes. Another person whose name is Favor Elisami. 
She says, I have had this neck pain for over a year now after waking up from sleeping on one side of the bed. Some months ago this year, I felt something like a bone drop from my neck into my back. And now? And from then, I have had discomfort in my back. When I moved in my right arm and my neck, I checked myself just now. The pain is gone. I turned my neck left, right, multiple times, and aggressively, no pain. Hallelujah. This is from... Okay, and let that be the last one so that I just... This is from Victor prayer. from Manchester United. He says, I have been experiencing pains at the lower back of my spine, but after Apostle prayed against the spine pain, I checked myself and I cannot feel the pain no more. Hallelujah. May God bless him. For all of you... Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to take more than this, but I stretch my hands and I speak over everyone right now. In the name of Jesus, your miracles remain permanent. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let me encourage you that you are at liberty to register your testimonies at any time, any service at all. We'll be glad to receive your testimonies in Jesus' name. Let's honor and celebrate them as they gallantly return to their seat. Please rise, stretch your hands towards your requests. Let me be sure that all the requests are here. Please, if you are yet to submit yours, just wave it. This is not a religious ritual. God is in the business of moving to honor our faith. Please stretch your hands as we pray. Begin to make declarations of faith that by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is written here is a communication of your faith that God himself is stepping in for you, bringing great miracles. Is someone praying? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Go ahead and pray. I'm bowing my knees and agreeing with you in faith, speaking over this. There is a God that answers prayers. If there are still people who are yet to submit their requests, go ahead. Those online, um, as you've submitted your request by faith, believe that you're also in touch. Someone decree and declare. Lord, I decree and declare that your faithfulness speaks over my life. first word I'm hearing in my spirit as I'm kneeling here is that there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. I say it again as I hear in my spirit, there shall be no loss. For the remaining months that are scheduled for this year, I prophesy to you, there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. Not loss of lives, not loss of properties. There shall be no loss in the name of Jesus. And like our brother here received his testimony, anyone here trusting God for a miracle job, and it is here written, I decree and declare by September miracle service, 
return rejoicing return rejoicing return rejoicing return rejoicing in the name of Jesus every request here that is connected to shame and reproach I call upon my God who is also your God may he arise as a mighty terrible one and let every embargo of reproach give way now let it give way now let it give way now hallelujah do you agree with me that many requests here depend on finances that when God visits you financially many of the requests maybe not all but the truth is that most of them will be solved so it is wise if I speak over your finances and by extension addressing many of the requests here I decree and declare the kind of favor you have not seen even if you have experienced favor you believe this by next miracle service in the name of Jesus some of you will come and the only thing you have on your request is praise reports because the Lord will so visit your finances the Lord will so visit your finances the Lord will so visit your finances in the name of Jesus Christ every situation here that has defied science defied medical um, help defied all kinds of human help in the name of Jesus may the Lord arise by himself and see to it that you testify in the mighty name of Jesus and I decree that as you have written you use your own hand to write I declare that your own hand will receive the testimonies I say it again that you use your own hand to write in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the same hands that wrote this are the same hands that will receive testimonies in Jesus matchless name we have prayed in Jesus matchless name we have prayed in Jesus matchless name we have prayed there is a mark of favor I am praying unto God that that mark will rest upon you tonight that everywhere you go literally everywhere you go may there be one man raised by God to help you one man raised by God to favor you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for any family here that is going through any kind of crisis whatsoever I speak to you Shalom peace be still peace be still peace be still everything dead or dying in your life hear the word of the Lord let it come back to life now in the name of Jesus whoever must remember you in Abuja in Lagos across the north the east the south and outside of this country between now and the end of this week I call upon the, the week that begins now in the name of Jesus let remembrance come to your doorstep let remembrance come to your doorstep in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and I decree and declare any testimony you heard today that you desire may it be reproduced in your life for some of you maybe it's concerning visas and embassy issues for some of you perhaps concerning whatever every testimony you heard today that you sincerely desire with all your heart let it be reproduced in your life and anybody who means you evil their eyes will not see you I say it again anybody who means you evil their eye will not see you in the name of Jesus you are delivered from the arrows that fly by day and every plague of darkness experience abundance I pray for your prayer life the grace to pray like never before may that grace be released upon you the grace to study the word with passion and zeal may that grace rest upon you anybody in your life who is a wrong person who is misleading you destroying your life this is the week they finally separate from your destiny anybody in your life deceiving you and putting you in a path that leads to destruction I say it again may this be the week my God separates them from you 
as you depart from this place tonight everything that is not of God remains here it will not go with you and everything that God has scheduled for you may it get to your home before you waiting for you to testify in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith the Bible says to receive with thanksgiving are you waving thank you Jesus thank you Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed it is always an opportunity to make it right with Jesus hallelujah this is our miracle service and it's our honor to celebrate the greatest miracle that will be happening in this place right now to dedicate your life to surrender your life to Jesus perhaps you are here and whilst you heard me preach the Holy Ghost began to convict you that it is time to make your ways right with Jesus it is never too late with Jesus I'm making two calls in one number one for those who are saying apostle I've never truly made this decision consciously and I want to respond to this call number two those who are saying I want to rededicate my life to Jesus I'm counting one to five very quickly wherever you are please take the bold step leave your seat take your bags your Bibles whatever you came to church with and gallantly make your way to the front as I lead you to make this noble decision koinonia let's celebrate them one last time as they come to make it right with Jesus is this the best you can do celebrate them as they come come thank you young and old male female come those who are connecting from across the, the globe as I lead them to pray make sure you participate in the prayer God bless you thank you for your courage thank you for your courage it pays to love Jesus it pays to surrender your life to him the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away don't be ashamed don't say many have come there's still room for you at the cross come come God bless you I have a minute more for you if you're coming please come don't sit back when the Holy Spirit is convicting you that you need to make it right with Jesus hallelujah all the overflows you can come to your screen just stand there and then we'll pray together hallelujah thank you very much for all of you who have summoned the courage to come lift your right hand please if you will and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I have seen your power I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord my Savior and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for this beautiful hands lifted as a sign of surrender I declare by the authority of Scripture that your sins are forgiven and I declare that you begin a fresh walk with Jesus from tonight no going back no turning back in the name of Jesus I call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and I empower you to live the victorious Christian life you are blessed you remain ever blessed in Jesus much less name we have prayed